So the first thing we we'll want to be able to do is to look at equations and if we're asked to prove that it's a parabola by turning it into a form that's recognizable as a parabola. Um, so right now I'm going to do what most students I know dread for some reason, but it's uh, completing the square. So I want to solve this equation for y. I've got the, the x terms being squared, so I have a sense that uh, this is going to be a parabola that opens up or down. But in order to find the details, like the vertex and the um, the focus and all that stuff, I'm going to have to change the form here. So let's do that by um, completing the square. So I'm going to write this as x squared plus 2x. I'm going to leave a space. And I'm going to put... Um, I'm going to put the y and the minus 3 on the other side there. Now I'm going to take half of the 2, which is a 1, and square it to get 1. And then to balance the equation, I'm going to add it to both sides. So now I've expressed this as a perfect square. Negative 3 plus 1 is minus 2. So I'm just going to swap to swap the direction. Alright, so there we go. I've completed the square. I can tell it's a parabola. It's a parabola that has some shifts, right? Because it's it's not in the basic form y equals 1 over 4 p x squared, right? There's some shifting happening between um, and the vertical and horizontal shifts that are occurring. But one thing that I do know is that I can find um, I can find what the p-value is, which is very important because it's going to help us find the vertex and the, uh, I'm sorry, the focus and directrix by noting that this value here, which is a 1, happens to be 1 over 4p. So that must be 1, which means that 4p must be 1, which means that p must be a fourth. So the focal length is a fourth. So pictures are usually helpful at this point to kind of put it all together. By the way, the vertex we can tell right away, right? The vertex of this of a parabola here at the origin is 0 0. And we can tell that this parabola in our case was shifted to the left 1 and down 2. I'm sorry, and up 2. and up 2. So the vertex is at negative 1 2. So let's make a picture here. So, um, my parabola has a vertex at negative 1, comma 2. So there's the vertex. Now I know that the vertex is directly in between the, the, um, the directrix and the focus. And I also know that this parabola opens up because because the value, uh, the, the expression 1 over 4p is positive. So since it opens up, I know my directrix is below the vertex, and I know that my focus is above it. Now since the focal length is 1 fourth, all I need to do is I need to, let me just put the coordinates here, all I need to do is move down a fourth, so if I move down a fourth, I guess I'll use a different color so not to get it confused with the point on the parabola. In my vertex. Um, if I move down a fourth, that should give me my directrix. So the, the y-coordinate here is 2, so if you subtract a fourth, you get 1 and 3 fourths. So there's my directrix equation. Now if I want the focus, then I would just add a fourth to the y-value of this vertex. So that'll be here. And that should have the same x-coordinate, negative 1, but it would have a y-coordinate of 2 plus a fourth, or 2 and a fourth. So now that's the, the uh, 
coordinates of my focus. Um, okay, and so th therefore the parabola must be, it must be looking something like this. Right? Um, but just sort of putting it all together, we prove that it's a parabola by putting it in this form, which is the standard form with a shift. We found the focal length. We used that information to find the directrix and the focus, and we could make a sketch if we had to, but that was not asked. So why don't you give this one a try? Um, you can pause the video, come up with the equation uh, in standard form, including shifts if necessary, get the vertex, focus, and directrix. Um, so I'm assuming you did that, unpaused. And this is the equation I ended up getting. Not the prettiest of ones. Um, the vertex ends up being at uh, 13 fourths, comma 1. The focus is at 9 fourths, comma 1. And the directrix has equation x equals 17 fourths. And it tends to look something like this. I'm not going to do a perfect sketch here, but you'll get the idea. It's, uh, you know, something, something like this. It's pretty sloppy, but you get the idea. 